Hello and welcome to the tutorial on Find the Missing Number. In this tutorial, we will learn how to find the missing number up to 500. Numbers up to 500. And we will do this with addition questions. So let's have a look at our first example. We've got something plus 247 equals 483. Now there are several different methods you can use. We're going to use the method which helps us to work these out with mental arithmetic. So I'm going to show you all the workings but eventually after a bit of practice you'll be able to do these in your head. Okay, so the principle is we're going to start with the number that's been given, 247, and we're going to keep adding to it until we get to 483. Now the best place to start, as always, is with the units. How many units do we have? We've got seven units. How many units do we need to get to? The number 483 has got three units. So we're adding to seven. The next number with three as the units is 13. So what number do we need to add to the 7 to give us 13? The answer is 6. Okay, the answer is 6. So we can now add this together. 7 plus 6 is 13. We're going to carry one over. 4 plus the 1 we're carrying over is 5. And we've still got the 200. Okay, that's the first part. Now we're going to do the tens. How many tens do we have? Well, we've got five tens. If we've got five tens, how many tens do we need to get to? Well, we need to get to eight tens. Okay, we need to get to eight tens. So what number added to five is going to give us eight? Well, the answer is three. And there are zero units. Okay, we can now add these together. 3 plus 0 is 3, 5 plus 3 is 8, and 200 remains as 2. Now do you notice so far, and I'll just change colors to show you, the 3 over here matches the 3 we needed. The 8 tens is the same as the 8 tens we required. So it's working. We're doing the right thing. Okay, let's carry on. How many hundreds do we have? We've got two hundreds. How many hundreds do we need to get to? Well, we need to get to four hundreds. So what number added to two is going to give us four? Well, that's nice and easy. It is two. Zero tens, zero units, because we've already done them. So therefore, we add these together, and we get 483. Now, I want you to just to, as a final check, to compare this number with this one. Does it match? Yes, they are both the same. Now, all we need to do is to collate. We're not even adding. We're just collating all the numbers in orange, the ones we've added. Okay, so what do we have? We've got 6, we've got 30, and we've got 200. That is our answer, 236. Okay, 236 plus 247 equals 483. It is quite simple. Okay, all the workings I've shown, but over a period of time, you'll be able to do these in your head. Okay, I'm just going to work on one more. This time, let me write the question first, and I'm sure, and I'll show you. How are we going to do these in our head? Okay. So what we have here is 356 plus something equals 428. Okay. 356 plus something equals 428. Now, what, what I'm going to do is start with the units. We've got six units. How many units do we need to get to? Well, we need to get to eight. 
Now what number added to 6 is going to give us 8? The answer is 2. So I'm going to write this down in the box. OK, on to the tens. How many tens have we got? Well, we've got 5. How many tens do we need to get to? Well, we need to get to 2. OK, so we're at 5. We need to get to 2. Now, what I would do, if I'm doing this, I would actually just combine it with the hundreds. 35. If we've got 35, we need to get to 42. So what number added to 35 is going to give us 42? The answer is 7. OK, 35 plus 7 is 42. And that's our answer. 356 plus 72 equals 428. Now, I highlighted the hundreds, tens, and units. You don't even need to do that, OK? And I didn't do any workings. I just wrote the answer in the box, which eventually is what you should be doing. But first, practice, do all the workings, and see how you get on. So that is how we find the missing number with numbers up to 500 when looking at addition questions.